there's a general misconception um, that people have that you can throw things down storm drains. Neighborhoods coordinator for the city of Clearwater, Juliana Green, is the head of a program designed to reduce the amount of trash entering storm drains. People think that the water that flows down storm drains goes to a wastewater treatment plant, and it, it doesn't. It goes directly out to the Gulf or to the Bay. Clearwater launched the storm drain mural program last October. Since then, 50 murals have been added to the city's sidewalks, and it's just getting started. I just really found this opportunity as a way to get the people out in the community and help them claim responsibility for the area that they live in. Miranda Douglas is the executive director of Families and Youth Initiatives, Inc., an organization focused on building up communities. The neighborhoods FYI works with struggle with flooding because of litter blocking storm drains. They'll look back and see that they were able to be a part of something effective for their community, something positive. The city of Clearwater has removed all roadblocks for participation by providing all the supplies for free. Green calls it placemaking and encourages everyone to participate, regardless of your artistic talent. This is my neighborhood. I live here and I want to make it a better place. Douglas and her team have fully embraced the mission of the program. This is, this is literally for the community, by the community, and we're just hoping to see some good things come from it. Stopping pollution starts right here on your own neighborhood sidewalk. In Clearwater, Florida, Rachel Boyd, USF Newsroom.